I'm Brian Bertelson. I am the Vice President of Field Operations for U.S. Premium Beef. Uh, U.S. Premium Beef is a uh, producer-owned company that in turn owns part of National Beef Packing Company, the fourth largest packer in the United States. And we supply cattle uh, that are priced on a value-based grid. And I work with the producers that market cattle to us and help them understand how that works and what they can do to make their cattle better so that we can pay them more. So when we buy those cattle, um, we supply carcass data back to the producer. Uh, that obviously affects the value of the cattle. And so we're gonna give uh, data back on the group on every group that we buy. And then if producers have the ability to take that data back to individual cows and bulls, then we can record ear tags at no additional charge to the producer and uh, provide them that information that they can then in turn use in their herd, uh, also in their management to make their cattle better. So currently as an industry, we, we are at or near record for overall quality in terms of quality grades. Uh, our choice in prime and our prime percentages and our certified Angus beef percentages as an industry are, are very high. And um, when we break down the overall premium on our grid, uh, on average, the overall premium has been about $50 a head more than if those cattle would have just sold on the average cash market. But when we break that down and say, where does that come from? Typically on an annual basis, quality grade is the biggest component of that. And um, then the second biggest component would typically be yield or dressing percentage. In other words, selling carcass weight at a carcass price versus that alternative of selling live weight at a live price. And um, so different breeds excel in different things. And uh, British breed cattle, specifically Angus cattle, are known for uh, quality grade and marbling. And that sh certainly has a lot of value. Uh, Charlotte cattle are known for having above average muscling good weight and certainly a good dressing percentage and so one of the things that uh, we like to point out and remind people is that quality generates a lot of dollars the most dollars however the frustrating thing to some producers is the seasonality of the reward for that quality in other words if you're bringing quality when everyone else is bringing quality the reward may not be quite as high and um, um, if you have high yielding cattle that dress well, that have a good dressing percentage, then that's a benefit all the time. And so uh, our message to the Charlet breeders and uh, cattle people with high yielding cattle is that, hey, consider putting them on a grid because that has value all the time. The ways that a producer can participate in our company is, uh, well, if they want to retain ownership on calves that they raise, then they can certainly talk to a custom feed yard, and we have what's called U.S. Premium Beef Qualified Custom Feed Yards. Those are listed on our website, and if you go there and click on each uh, yard, you'll get a whole page of information, so that'll help you select a yard that is really well suited for you and your cattle and, and your goals and what you want to do and achieve. And, uh, and they can also provide the delivery rights that are necessary to ship cattle on our program. So the requirements for us to buy cattle is uh, the, the, the business that we write the check to needs to be an associate member. You can do that for just $100 for a one-time lifetime fee uh, of $100 for a lifetime membership. And then access to delivery rights. And those can be leased either through feed yards or seed stock suppliers. If your bull supplier is what we call a qualified seed stock supplier, they may be able to help you out with some delivery rights. And uh, when extras are available, we have them available sometimes through our office as well. And um, if a producer is not to the point of retaining ownership and just simply wants to sell feeder cattle, then we would highly recommend that they talk to those qualified feed yards uh, that are gonna need to still go out and procure some cattle as feeders, whether it be calves or yearlings, and present yourself as 
a reputable supplier that hey I want to I want to work with you long term I want to get information feedback I want to find out how my calves do uh, I want to improve them for you and eventually uh, make more money on my calves or possibly as I find out that as they find out that those cattle really do have value then maybe you step into a level of retaining ownership and and getting rewarded at the fed cattle level perhaps if anyone has any questions, uh, I'd encourage them to go to uspremiumbeef.com and there's a, a wealth of information. There's uh, uh, examples of our grid. There's the membership application if you want to step up and, be, and become a member. There is a producer education forum page if you just would like some information on uh, what we have learned, things that we have written and developed for our people, uh, the producers that we work with. Uh, things that we have found in industry that help our producers to uh, become educated in how to produce those high quality cattle and, uh, and what has value on our grid, then I'd encourage you to go there and read some of those articles.